it really really gets me on my nerves it really really makes me sick it really 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 really, really discourages me that's a big news i wanted to go ahead and let you guys know is that we have some new content Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I promised myself I'm gonna stop dancing like an Ija channel. Let me make sure I fix this thing right. I don't wanna be fixing this all the time, okay? But this video is a special video, okay? <laughs> so you guys know that my my channel is about beauty, lifestyle, vlogging, fitness those realms right and i've been posting fitness videos taking you to my through my journey and stuff like that and i started off at a heavy weight and i was able to drop 30 to 35 pounds of weight and hold on Okay, so I was able to drop 30, actually no, I was able to drop 40 because my heaviest weight was 240. I think it was more because I didn't went up on a scale after I saw it hit 240 and was going to 242. I just stopped. But when I first started, I was at 240 and then I dropped down and then when I got serious, I dropped down to 235. And then from 235, I was able to drop down to 200. And then from 200, now I'm at 212, okay? I did it between 205 to 212, and it really, really gets me on my nerves. It really, really makes me sick. It really, 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 really discourages me. Because when I first started out, I was doing alternate day fasting. I was doing intermittent fasting. And I was going ham, okay? Those results, I st thank God I was able to keep a solid 20 pounds off. A solid 20 pounds off. Because like I said, I doubled between 212 to to um oh five two oh five to twelve so that's a solid twenty so we anywhere from twenty to twenty five pounds solid off and um I just haven't been able to break the one hundreds ground okay I think I break it one time it was one ninety nine point eight okay and um that was the last time I saw that. That was one occurrence. And I just been trying my best, trying my best, going in and out of moods. Oh, if my camera is shaking, I'm back on this table again. But I've been going, like my mood's been fluctuating. So with all that said, I have been a little bit frustrated. So I've been looking into some supplementations to help me. And um, I was doing my um, stepper challenge where I step on the stepper five days a week. I did it Monday to Friday and I consistently did it in the morning for 30 minutes. Right now, my birthday was July 4th, so my parents came up. They were here for three weeks. I had a two-week vacation and for all two weeks, I haven't got on a stepper i start back i'm recording this video on july 13th you're not gonna see this video until the end of july i'm gonna try to move some things around so it could be sooner i kind of wanted to start the end of july because i want to be like a week or so out because i'm gonna start taking i was supposed to start the injections yesterday oh <laughs> i didn't even get there oh, okay let me say this part because i don't know if i'm gonna remember it but um i was prescribed with govi so i i wanted to start the injections friday but 
um i said no because i don't know how it feels how i'm gonna feel and i was gonna start it today but i woke up with a headache i drank wine last night and i don't know how the two are mixed so i said i was gonna take it sunday i said no i'm gonna be going out on the road on sunday and i don't want to feel any kind of way so monday i do my regular i start back i'm off of vacation starting monday so i'm gonna and i don't do my um side hustle monday and tuesday so i said i'm gonna do it monday morning after i do my stepper because i miss it and see how it makes me feel hopefully i don't have no side effects but that's a little tidbit so yeah so because i was feeling stuck like chuck i decided to go ahead and look into different supplements i've seen ozempic z z zebo listen i've seen them all okay and i actually saw my doctor and i'm healthy for the most part i just have to work on my cholesterol and um that's it i was like so scared so nervous like oh my gosh because before or a few weeks ago i haven't seen a doctor in three years two to three years i'm like wait my medical is the most expensive insurance coming out my check let me go ahead and utilize it so that's what i went ahead and do and i'm here trying to create a jump drive for my father as well so um let me see what's going on here so when i went to go and see my doctor um he did my blood work and everything and everything was healthy he said my cholesterol needs to be worked on it's not that bad but it's not that bad to where i need medication but they do want it to go down a little bit they needed to go down okay so i'm working on that and i was doing my research with the weight loss management and that doctor he actually specialized in weight weight loss management so when i had the visit i said wait let me go ahead and call the doctor and see what he could do so i called him i told him what i wanted she called me back she she said she's gonna call me back and speak to the doctor she called me back she gave me four medications i wrote them down she told me go ahead and call my insurance and see which one they will pre-approve or they will cover on my under my insurance plan so i went ahead and i did that The four medications they gave me, out of all four, only the Wegovy was approved. I called my insurance and they gave me all back up. My doctor gave me four medications that I could take for weight loss management. I called my insurance and they gave me four weight loss pills that I could take or four weight loss supplements I could take for um, weight loss, right? out of both lists only one on each list <laughs> matched okay the other three the insurance did not give me the other three the doctor did not give that the insurance gave me the doctor did not give me vice versa so it's okay let's go with the one the doctor is going to go ahead and approve oh, well let's go with the one the insurance is gonna approve that the doctor recommended hence the way go i didn't even open it up so this is the week Govi. They're gonna start me off on a 0 0.25. <sighs> Each been delivered a single dose. I'm a little bit nervous, but I've looked. This is how the pen look as well. When I was doing my research, the girlies was like, this is the best thing, thing since a sliced bread. And it kind of eased my nerves. What I'm nervous most about is having to stick myself. But I, I'm gonna start Monday, so if I feel any kind of way, I'm home. I work from home. My main job, I work from home, so I could go ahead and sleep it off. I could go ahead and work through it slowly. I don't know what's gonna go on, but a lot of them, and I'm glad it's a once a week thing. So instead of doing it Friday, I'm gonna do it Monday, and Monday's my sweet spot. So when I was researching this, one of the girls said that the benefits of um, Wigovi is that it lowers your cholesterol level. I said, what? What? Are you, what are you saying? I'm here looking it up because like I say, if my um, thing is shaking, please bail me. I type fast and 
my tri bite is connected to the desk. Everybody that I've seen take with Govi said that they are very happy they went ahead on this weight loss medication. It says that with Govi is proven benefits for cardiovascular heart and blood vessel health in adults with heart disease who are considering considered overweight. Reduce major heart events. People who have extra weight. Okay, so I don't really see much about the cholesterol, but prom I trust me. Look it up on YouTube. This girl did tell me that one of the benefits that she's seen with one of the benefits is that it lowers cholesterol. And when she had told me that was like cinema, I already had it. I already had it. Even though I was still doing research. I went ahead and did. My doctor prescribed it. My doctor said it would be good. And I'm happy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the fridge. But that's a big secret. Oh, no, not secret. But that's a big news I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know. Is that we have some new content. Because the fitness is good, still going to be there. Trust and believe. There might be naysayers that's out there that's going to say, Oh my gosh, you're cheating. You're taking the easy way out. Try and try to do okay because this is not a magic supplement this still requires work you still have to do the work you still and that's why i say let me go ahead to this because i have been working really well at maintenance okay and although i was feeling a little sad i wasn't dropping no more weight as steady as i was before I kind of am happy in a sense because your body needs to stabilize the weight loss in order for it to be sustainable. Because if you drop it and you don't sustain it, then you could easily put the weight back on. Okay? So let's say you drop 10 pounds and then you go ahead, you go ahead and you drop another five and you just keep losing weight, losing weight, losing weight. Right? If you don't get yourself in a steady, stable weight, and you learn to control it, then you risk the possibility of gaining the weight again. And that's the sad part about it because people drop the weight, but they don't work out how to maintain the weight. And I found out how to maintain the weight, but I just wanted to break it, that plateau to go and lose more weight. Because in reality, I had a total of 80 pounds that I wanted to go ahead and drop. I had dropped 40 of those pounds. If you start at my starting weight, then I had another 40. Ooh, it's actually 70 because I kind of want to be 170. But with this, I want to drop to 160 and then maintain up to 70. Because <clears throat> sometimes you drop weight and then you gain. You gain at least 5 to 10 pounds back to stabilize it at least that's what i've seen but now i'm in a different mind state a mind frame so this time when i lose the weight i'm really gonna condition myself to stay there whereas in the past because i have lost weight gain weight lost weight and i always did it for an event this time it's totally different because i'm changing my eating habits a lot Age have a big factor to do with it because once you get older, you have to learn to eat healthy because your body is depleting in nutrients. Your body don't store it like when you were younger. Although I'm young, I want to condition myself now so I could be strong and healthy by the time I'm 80, 90 years old. Because my father is 80 something years old and my mom is 70 something years old and they are healthy okay they are strong and i and i would like to be like that so i'm so excited to take you guys on this journey we're gonna talk about it some more but i am so glad that i feel that i'm going to be making progress again and it's nothing more exciting than that. I feel like I gained more weight. Not more, but I feel like I gained some more weight 
I'm saying more. Well, less more is right. I feel like I gained weight since I've been on this break, and it's a mental thing. Probably one or two pounds I've gained, but I'm so glad that I got the wigovi. Oh yeah, I initially pres um put asked them to put the script into a neighborhood pharmacy. I was supposed to get this wigovi two weeks ago. I called the pharmacy. When I called the pharmacy, they said it should be the next day. The next day should be there. Called the next day, it wasn't there. They said hello, um, call back by the end of the week. <laughs> Bless me. Um, call back by the end of the week, they should have it. Call back, it wasn't there. She says so it was supposed to be on the shipment, it didn't come in. The place they get the medications from are out of stock. It's on back order. So they tell me to allow more time. I call, I call, I said no problem. Went ahead, I call Walmart, the closest Walmart next to me. Spoke to the pharmacist there. They said, yep, we have it. I said, no problem. Call my doctor's office and had a the, the, um, script transferred to Walmart because at that time it had been a week. Okay, so I end up picking it up from that pharmacy. And now this is the second week. It, it it's crazy it's crazy but i'm definitely gonna start it on monday um tomorrow's the 14th so monday's gonna be the 15th and i'm gonna take you guys along this journey as i don't want to say it was complicated to get it because i told my doctor about it called my insurance and they had it resolved within seconds well a lie because when I had call insurance, I end up calling the doctor and tell the doctor the one that they, they would approve. So they end up asking about two. One of them were denied, and again, the Wigovi was approved. So they had to call and call. Well, I mean, I say call and call because within the same day, they call me at the end of the day. I call them like around 12 1 by the end of that day she's like okay we finally was able to get it approved um we're gonna go ahead and um send it over to the pharmacy and that was that i was just waiting for the pharmacy to go ahead and receive the script fill it and if they had told me from jump that they don't have it and it's on back order i could have been done gay from walmart the first week i was on vacation but that's fine that's fine i have it now so stay tuned to videos stay tuned you're gonna be a week out so the reason why i wanted a week out is because i want to be able to come and say hey this is how my week was bing bang boom this is the introductory uh phase to it and i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm excited to finally break through from the two to the 100 and we need to do it quickly actually not quickly like i said this is not a miracle drug but i've been eating really really good because i'm trying to get my cholesterol down i think there might be meal preps coming okay but we are still gonna have the hauls we're still gonna have the why i was gonna say we're still gonna have the hauls we're still gonna have the try-ons <laughs> why did i separate the words so we're still going to have the try-on hauls. We're still going to have the home hauls. We're still going to have all the hauls, including the vlogs. Although I haven't been doing really good on the vlogs, I have created a vlog though. <clears throat> and I created an organization. Well, I, I have to put it together. I haven't put those together. I only have my Bath and Body Works and my annual sale going up. You by, this, by the time you see this video, you might see part one and part two part three is going to be after and then i have a smell i'm going to a smell test bath and body works series i got the content i got the content but i'm so glad that i'm gonna be able to go ahead and um start my weight loss i will do a before before and after and stay tuned to that because i'll include those clips at the end of this video and yeah i'm excited mm -mm -mm. here is my before i recorded this on june 18th and i needed to make sure because i wanted to do the 75 heart challenge that i have a before and after picture or a before and after video 
I did lose a lot of weight. It's kind of hard to tell in this um, particular video because the actual pants is a stretchy pants, so it conforms. But if you look really close to the top of the rim, you'll notice that there is some space and it doesn't really hug to the body. At least I do because I know how these pants fit me but here is the before june 18th i'm gonna show you my before as of today which is gonna be july 15th i feel like i gained a little bit of weight but i i don't know i don't know i don't know let the video speak for itself and i also forgot to mention that the wigovi is no cheap little cheapity cheap thing okay it was expensive she told me it's going to be $1,600 if I don't have insurance. I said, mm-mm, I got insurance. I'm going to tell you guys a um, <laughs> long story in another video, but it was too funny, y'all. It was too funny. So, um, yeah, I got the Wigovi. With my insurance, it was $23 to $26, somewhere around there. And I'll be taking it for the first time today, July 15th. So this is my before as of today, July 15th. I feel like I gained a little bit of weight in my stomach. Not too much to be noticeable. I kind of feel like I look close to my previous before picture, that clip that you just saw. Um, but we're going to get into it, y'all. We go over here, we come like i said it's not a magic drug so i will be eating clean i will be doubling into the 75 hard challenge well no the 75 soft challenge while doing this but let's get it let's go okay now that you have seen the before videos i had to do show you two different befores because the first one i was um that was right when I was in the root of my um, stepping stepper challenge. And since, again, I've been on vacation, I haven't done the stepper challenge, but these two weeks have been good. I have been walking outside still and doing the sauna. Those two, I did not stop. I have not done it consistently, but I've also not been sanitary. So that's why I was not, it, like, that's why I didn't gain that much weight back. And also, um, the other before picture is me now <laughs> after my um, two weeks of not doing stepper. So if there's a little bit of difference or a little bit of weight, noticeable weight gain, then that's why. But I don't think it's much. I don't think it's much. I do think that my face, some some angles, I still feel like I look a little chiseled. Okay, in other angles, I feel like what is going on but not to the point where it's like depressing but thank you for watching this video if you've come this far drop a blue heart thank you for showing your girls some love stay tuned to the next one because we got the content and if you want to see my weight goofy process my start my end my thoughts how i feel go ahead and subscribe man what you doing what you doing i've noticed that Although my numbers are small, I'm growing and I love you guys. Love the ones that want to tune in. Okay. So, again, see you in my next video. And until then, stay blessed. <laughs> stay blessed. Forget the mess. Stay blessed. With the rest. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. See ya.